Breaking Bad, Gus has a front for his meth empire, which is a chain of restaurants called Los Pollos Hermanos. And today we're going to teach you how to make some delicious tacos that are relatively simple but packed with a lot of flavor. We have some olive oil heating on our cooktop. We're going to add garlic and shallot. When the onion starts to turn a nice golden brown or very aromatic, it's time to add your tomatoes. As your tomatoes continue to simmer on your medium flame, we're going to add all of our delicious seasonings, including, but not limited to, the chipotle pepper. The cool thing about chipotle pepper, it's actually a dried jalapeno that is smoked. Really? That's amazing. I like that. We're also gonna add a big pinch of salt. As your tomatoes cook with your seasoning over a medium flame, we're gonna put the lid on and just let them simmer for about 20 minutes until it becomes nice and saucy. Once your sauce has been simmering for 20 minutes, take shredded rotisserie chicken and add it. Then you want to add chopped fresh cilantro and a squeeze of a fresh lime. If you don't have juicy tomatoes, your sauce might look a little dry. Just add some olive oil. While your chicken is cooking, this is an excellent time to make your guacamole. But it's always a good time to make guacamole. That's true. Okay. But especially now, because you're going to have it on a taco. We're making our guacamole the traditional way, where instead of mashing it, we're actually chopping it into small bits, so that way you have more texture when your guacamole is done. Oh, what? I'm going to do one. And while she's doing that, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Cilantro chopped tomatoes, jalapeno. If you want it spicy, add the whole half. If you want it mild, use a quarter of your jalapeno. We're also adding shallot and garlic, a pinch of salt. Did you know that AMC originally wanted either John Cusack or Matthew Broderick to play the role of Walter White in Breaking Bad? Ferris Bueller selling drugs? Mm-hmm. Okay. But, they passed on it. So show creator Vince Gilligan got to hire his first choice, which was Brian Cranston. Also, AMC producers were nervous about having Brian Cranston as the lead role because he was the dad on Malcolm in the Middle, which is such a squeaky clean comedic role. They didn't know if he could actually play a real life meth producer. But. And now we know how amazing his acting range is. We love you. Hi, One more. One. Ooh, Can no more. Oh, wow. This is mine. <laughs> this is what happens. When you cook on that. Look. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna squeeze <laughs> some fresh lime. You want a olive oil? Yeah. About a tablespoon of olive oil. And these are Haas avocados that we're using, right? Yes. And in fact, although there are almost 200 varieties of avocado, 95% of all avocados produced are Haas because they are the favorite. They're buttery, they're smooth, and they're great for almost any recipe. Yum, yeah, I like them. So here we go. So we're almost done. Wait! What? Oh. A beaker full of chips. <laughs> this is a good opportunity to taste it. Make sure it's salty enough. Make sure you've got enough lime juice. Any opportunity to taste is a good opportunity. This is true. Oh, oh cheers! Oh. <laughs> It's perfect, it's perfect. It's really, really good. It's gonna be a nice addition to your Chipotle chicken tacos, which should be almost ready, right? Mm -hmm. It's taco time. Taco time! We're gonna start our tacos off with a generous helping of our homemade guacamole. On our corn tortillas that we warmed right before this. Followed by some cabbage. Followed by our chicken that we have been cooking in this delightful sauce. Next, we're gonna add some radish. <laughs> And we're going to finish it with some cilantro. Some cilantro. And last but not least, I am here today to tell you about a secret that you've been missing from your life. This, this is why she came today. It's called tahin. It's limey and salty. Then we have salsa buffalo. It is an authentic Mexican salsa. You can get it at most grocery stores. And it really adds a nice kick to our tacos. It's gonna spice up your taco. And if you want, you can also add some pepper jack cheese. Juliana's not a cheese girl, so nope. I get all the cheese. Whoa, do we get to try this? Yes, we do. Okay. Our Los Pollos Hermanos chicken tacos. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. Can I say wow? Mm-hmm. They're say wow. really good. You can say any words you want. Chipotle is one of my favorite Mexican flavors, and these are super delicious. And the crunch from the cabbage is excellent, along with a little bit of the bitterness that you're getting from the radish. 
Your friends are going to love these. So invite them over to watch the new season of Breaking Bad, and we'll see you next time. Adios, amigos. <laughs>